YouTubeTutorial.com wanted to come in and do a video for you today. Uh, I got an email that I wanted, I thought was a good email and I wanted to share it with you today and go ahead and try to answer this question. Just give you my opinion on it. Let's go ahead and get to the email. This is uh, Zach. I'm hoping I finally found a way to get in touch with you. You did. Uh, my family and I love your videos. We've, ha we've had a Christian background most of our lives, but within the last year came to realize that we should be living our lives according to the Torah. With that said, we try to eat only what is clean. I saw that you had a mushroom garden going. I do. Uh, we stopped eating mushrooms and seaweed, two things we used to enjoy eating because of Genesis 1, and 30. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth, <coughs> excuse me, and all the birds in the sky and all the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food, and it was so. So, he says, because mushrooms are a fungi that reproduces by spores, and seaweed is a form of algae, also seaweed is found in water but does not have fins and scales, we have not been eating them. I would love to see one of your videos covering this to get your thoughts on it. Also, we appreciate you producing both homesteading videos and videos on the Torah. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, Jonathan, thank you. I appreciate you uh, writing in. Um, and I don't get a chance to to respond to everyone's emails. I get way too many emails to respond. It's only when you catch me at the right time and catch me on a topic that I'm passionate about and you just, you know, it's just the right moment. So um, mushrooms and seaweed. I saw an argument going back a couple of weeks ago. My wife was telling me that there was a giant uproar in one of the groups that she, you know, kind of looks at from time to time. And they were arguing over seaweed. And is it clean or not? And there was a giant argument going on and on how you shouldn't eat seaweed. And I just had to laugh. You know, guys, this is so... People are arguing over the most silliest of things. People all of a sudden deem themselves experts in molecular biology or biology in general without studying bi biology. I'm an expert in biology without studying biology. It, it's ridiculous. All right, understand this. Let's just go, let's go ba back to basics. Animals are produced with a sperm and an egg. Plants also are produced, all plants are produced with a sperm and an egg. Animals, number two, examples in the Bible of given of what not to eat. Okay? Plants, there are no examples given in the Bible or in your Torah of what not to eat. Just not there. Okay? Understand that. All animals and all plants are created with a sperm and an egg. But with animals, there are examples in the Bible of given or what not. There are examples of things. These are the ones you won't eat. But plants, there are no examples given of what not to eat for plants. But he'll say, but Zach, seaweed isn't a plant. It absolutely is a plant. Seaweed, let's just start with seaweed. Seaweed is produced with a sperm and an egg. It's called a gamma tea. Okay, and go look it up yourself. But it involves a sperm and an egg, which produces a zygote. Now, along with seaweed, seaweed and other land plants, seed-bearing trees even, you can produce, you can take a piece of seaweed, rip it off, and then start another seaweed plant with that. Okay, just like other plants. Like, I have a fig tree in my greenhouse that a friend of mine from South Carolina took a cutting, cut off that tree, Gave it to me, and we've started a brand new fig tree that's now producing fruit in my greenhouse. It's same with seaweed. You can do the exact same thing with seaweed. Start it from a cutting or a tear or whatever. But it also is produced and started by a gametee, which is a sperm and, a, and, a, and an egg. Sperm and an egg. Everything is produced, including you, is produced and started by a sperm and an egg. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. It's that simple. You, man has a seed. We produce a seed that goes into woman. But just because you can't see the seed without a microscope doesn't mean the seed's not there. The Bible is very clear on the seed of man. But we do have a seed. That algae, that, that algae does, in, which is seaweed, which is a plant, does in fact have a seed. It was started with a seed and an egg, just like everything else on planet Earth was started with. It's that simple. It's that, it's that simple. Um, fungus. This is another one. People are like, I can't eat mushrooms. And, and I'll just tell you right now, 119 Ministries has a great, uh, just phenomenal video on mushrooms. Go check that out if you're done with this one um, to just give you a second witness. has a great video on mushrooms. Go check that out. But, you know, mushrooms is, you know, it's a fungi. 
will say it's that it's a fungi and it grows in darkness. You can't eat you can't eat a mushroom because it grows in darkness and that tells you right there you can't eat it. Well, the Bible never says that anywhere. Uh, you've made that up and I mean there are people who are making this stuff up. And a fungus is a yeast. Folks, you use yeast for everything. <laughs> What what as Passover is coming up? What do you do for Passover? You get rid of the of the leaven in your house. Where do you think the leaven comes from? It's a yeast. It's a starter. That's how you make bread. You you would let your starter sit on your counter for seven days and continue to feed that star, that starter with water and flour. <coughs> Excuse me. And the yeast in the air will interact with that that starter and create oh interact with the the flour and create a starter. Your bread is made with yeast. Fungi is a yeast. You know, if you drink wine or beer, that is made with yeast, which is a fungi. You can't get around this. So just because, and uh, let me back up. F fungi is also produced with a spore. That spore is created with a sperm and an egg. Uh, it, it, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Go look it up. It's called a gametee. Again, a gametee, if you look it up, it's a sperm and an egg. Sperm and an egg. You can't get life without the sperm and an egg. The father does things in cycles. He does. He has, he has a reputation for doing things over and over again the same way. Sperm and an egg. Sperm and an egg. So for you guys out there who don't want to eat mushrooms or tell you that seaweed is unclean because it lives in the water and doesn't have fins and scales... And Jonathan, I'm not making fun of you. I'm not making fun of you, Jonathan. I really am not. But, you know, I, I see this come across my inbox time and time again. And that's why it's become a passion of mine. Because it's just so, people are so uneducated. And they're teaching people this stuff. And they're basically adding to Torah. There's nothing in your Bible, nothing in Torah that says you can't eat seaweed. That you can't eat mushrooms. There's no examples of any plants in your Torah that says you can't eat. You're adding to Torah. You're making this stuff up. These people out there who are pushing this. And... It's kind of disgusting. Makes me want to throw up in my mouth a little because you're adding to Torah. It's it's something that the Father said not to do. So um, getting back to the whole mushroom fungi thing, yeah, you can eat mushrooms. They're produced with a sperm and an egg, just like everything else is. Uh, the sperm is the seed, um, and and it's something that our Father. It, it, everything is produced that way. Everything, every living creature, um, plant animal is created with a sperm and an egg. It's just that simple. You know, at the smallest level, that's what it comes down to. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Um, seaweed, if you want to eat seaweed, that's fine. Um, if you want to eat mushrooms, that's fine. It's all produced with a, with a sperm and an egg. So there's some bottom lines to remember. Just check this out. Every plant produces a sperm and an egg. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Number two, no examples are given in the Bible of plants you're not allowed to eat. They're just not there. There are no examples. Number three, everyone is eating fungus. It's in the air you breathe, folks. You can't get away from it, okay? And number four, yeast is a fungus. How do you make bread? People back then did not go to the local Walmart and buy bunny bread. You made your own bread. It was sourdough. It was a starter that was created by yeast in the air interacting with the flour that you were feeding into your starter, and that's what produced the bread. That's what made the bread the rise. Yeast is a fungi. Yeast is a fungus. There is no other way you can get around this. It That's just it. <laughs> and so people will tell me, you know, you can't eat, you can't eat um, uh, uh, seaweed because it doesn't have fins and scales. Well, that's like saying fiddleheads, which are a, a, a fern, which is produced by spores, which also have a sperm and an egg. And people eat fu uh, fiddleheads all the time. They harvest them every year. And, you know, you can't eat fiddleheads because it doesn't have a split hoof and doesn't chew the cud. Folks, those commandments were given to animals, either sea animals or land-based animals. It has nothing to do with plants. Leviticus 11 has absolutely nothing to do with plants. It's as simple as that. I don't know how to make it any more simple. Again, if you want some more information, there's a really good video by 119 Ministries on mushrooms. Just go ahead and Google that. You'll, you'll find it. Good video. Um, and I get this a lot. So, I'm, you know, I'm not making fun of anybody. If you don't want to eat mushrooms, if you don't like the taste of mushrooms, that's fine. If you don't like, ta you don't like the taste of seaweed, completely normal. Totally fine. Everyone has likes and dislikes. But don't go around telling people that it's a sin to eat it because that's just stupid and being uneducated. All right, we'll leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks.